record. This is such a special series for you. How was Cash originally described to you? Uh, Cash was kind of described. Um, do you remember Tristan from Legends of the Fall? <laughs> yes. <laughs> a brown-headed version of Tristan from Legends of the Fall was kind of the first pitch. And uh, I love Legends of the Fall more than anything almost. Um, and that was enough bait just there. And, and then I, you know, I got to read the scripts and it, it, obviously it's much different than Tristan, but um, uh, that was the, uh, the initial enticement. Well, uh, we have a fan question from Tyler Jacob Moore. I'm not sure if you're familiar with him. I, but... uh, he's a crazy, <laughs> just a super fan. Good. <laughs> He said, we've gotten glimpses into the deeper pathos behind Cash's stoic interior, which his time in the military, the meeting expectations of his father and brother and the loss of both. Will we get deeper into that aspect of your character? My gosh, Tyler Jacob Moore with the heart. I know, of he's, he went in on his brother. Question. I love it. Um, yeah, I, I think so. I think it's inevitable. As much as Cash maybe doesn't want to divulge that information, I think it's kind of, it's starting to burst. It's, it's, it's coming to the surface. You know, I think it's inevitable. Uh, he also would like to know what aspects of Cash do you identify with the most? <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't have to work. This is all your question. co-stars. You this guy. Uh, <laughs> just don't play him in chess because he takes about 10 minutes to make one move, 10 minutes per, per move, by the way. Um, uh, you know, it's interesting. I, you know, I, I didn't, I'm not, I'm not a veteran. I didn't, I haven't done that, but I, I understand, you know, Cash in a lot of ways feels a little bit alone. He, he, he feels um, he's got a lot on his plate, a lot to live up to. Um, sometimes I, you know, I, I, I understand that feeling. There's a lot of Cash that I understand, even though that, you know, we don't have the same, we haven't had the same trajectory or same life experiences, but that's kind of the fun thing about being an actor is where you have to just kind of imagine what it would be like to live in someone else's shoes. And then it starts kind of taking over and it starts, you start behaving in ways that at least you, it's weird. It's very strange. It's like magic that you start behaving, not like yourself, but as the character. And when that starts happening, it's really cool. And I don't really have to ask myself how I relate to this person in this, in this situation. It just kind of, I just start doing it and that's, yeah. There's wonderful familial bonds between all of you. Did that all seem to form at cowboy camp or did it just have an innate ability that you guys just clicked? I, it's so, I don't know. I innate, All of the above, you know, I think it really helps that every single person on every cast on the show is a genuinely good person that, that, that really, um, you know, helps. And then we just all happen to have similar likes and, and get along really well. It's been like the best part of one of the best parts, at least of the show is just the relationships we formed. And, and, you know, you kind of hear that sometimes, but this is, it's special. It's really special. We all genuinely like each other and, um, and, and look forward to seeing each other. At least I do. Maybe they, maybe they don't feel the exact same way. I mean, Nancy Travis is the matriarch of this family. It must be incredible to have her uh, intent and stoic. She said she's even advised a little bit to people who have come up to her and asked her some questions because she's been in this business so long. So it yeah. must be very incredible to have her. And I'm telling you, all of you seem to have such great on-screen chemistry. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, I think so too. Thanks for saying that. Well, I have to say there's quite the chemistry though between uh, Cash and um, I'm blanking on um, Tierra's character's name. Missy? <laughs> Missy, yes. <laughs> Is there more than a familial bond there? Um, yeah, I don't think it's it's revealing too much to say that yes, there's more than just that that bond. I, you know, they, they have a long story history together. Um, there's very, you know, a lot of, lot of deep feelings uh, that Cash has for Missy, I think it's, but he doesn't know if it's reciprocated, you know, and so that's where a lot of his angst comes from, you know, he doesn't really know exactly how to express himself, or if it's even the ethical right thing to do, you know, with all of the history between his brother and um, 
Austin and Missy and all of that. So it's a very complicated situation and doesn't make it any the easier for someone uh, like Cash, who's maybe not the most articulate. Yes, cowboys aren't known for talking about their feelings. No, no, they're not. <laughs> <unfortunately>. <laughs> What can you tease then maybe is in store for the remainder of this season here on Ride with Cash? Um, Cash gets thrown into the deep end um, big time. Maybe he's ready for it. Maybe he's not. Um, and a lot of things, uh, maybe there are a couple of storylines that have been kicked, uh, the, kicked down the road a little bit. They all kind of um, they, they lead to a head here and um, a, um, yeah, big, a big uh, a crescendo, if you will. Um, Cash has got to figure out, you know, can, can he ride? Is this what he's meant to do? Can he help the ranch? Um, you know, all of those questions are, uh, are looming. That's heavy on a guy though. I mean, that, those are all such weighty things, even for, you know, especially for, I guess, a, yeah. a cowboy, I should say. So how do you all shake off a long day of such intense scene work? There's physicality to this role. There's obviously the mental aspect where you're a character, but you're also an actor at the same time. Yeah, it can, honestly, it can be a lot when you're, especially, you know, you're 12, 15 hour days and you're physical, all the things that you just listed. Um, you know, for me, exercise is really important and good sleep. I mean, and eating healthy, it's pretty obvious. Um, and, you, and you don't, you know, take care of those three things. I mean, I really feel it. You really do feel it. So there's also a long um, commute to uh, to set every day. And that's actually, it's good and bad. You know, it's it'd be nice if I could sleep an hour longer or two hours longer. But you also get to decompress, you could listen to some music, podcasts, that kind of stuff and kind of decompress, you know. You are a part of social media. I imagine uh, not just my gushing has been plenty coming your way for the series. What have people been saying to you? Um, you know, overwhelmingly positive response. People are really liking the show. I think they're relating, um, connecting with the characters. And that's, you know, that's as much as I could hope for. It is quite a fan favorite series. Is that what you also think has made it so special that people seem to relate to it and find a little bit maybe of themselves or maybe just so much heart to this show? Yeah, I mean, I, you never know what's going to strike a chord with people, right? You, you try to try to predict it, but you never really know. Um, and then when people connect to something, it's really special because you put so much energy and effort and time into into these things. And you just, you know, it's you hope people respond. So. <laughs> 